Uh, welcome members and supporters to the round 15 uh, Sturt v Central's match report. Uh, final score, Sturt 5-6-36 to Central's 3-5-23. So a 13 point win. Uh, I'd like to say it was a good win, but it was probably just a win. Um, wasn't the greatest, uh, I think, for the spectators. But um, no, nah, I thought our first half was very good defensively to keep uh, the opposition to, I think, four scoring shots, one goal, three. Um, was pretty pleasing. Our first quarter, our, you know, we kicked three in the first quarter and sort of set the game up from there. So uh, our first half, very good. Third quarter, um, probably just some missed opportunities. I felt like early we had... Um, some forward 50 entries and some you know forward half time in forward half to probably hit the scoreboard and impact on the scoreboard but we didn't didn't quite get that done and then Central's later in the quarter um, had two goals and got back in the game um, which was you know a bit frustrating from our point of view but um, and in the last quarter I think Adam Trudon kicked the only goal of the last quarter and um, you know sealed the game which was a pretty good thing and yeah it was just a I guess a tough tough game to to coach and play, we knew that Central's um, watching on from last week. Uh, they sort of went very defensive in the second half, bringing numbers up to stoppage and stuff like that. So we knew it was going to be a not a free-flowing game. Um, thought it might have been a bit more open on the big oval, but I thought the boys um, executed uh, for, for pretty much most of the game, um, executed the game plan and the way we were going to play pretty well. So probably a little period in the third quarter, we lost our way a little bit again, but... Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I was very pleased with our, I guess, overall effort and to get a win. As I said, I thought in the third quarter we we probably um, missed some opportunities to hit the scoreboard and um, get a few repeat entries and build some pressure in our forward half, um, which we did in the first, I guess, the first sort of half, first quarter. Um, and we didn't probably execute our, I guess, our skills as well as we had in past weeks. And so combination of those two things I think helped or didn't help us hit the scoreboard um, and yeah I think it was just one of those games where it was you know there's always numbers around the stoppage um, as I said they they were bringing numbers up um, and so yeah it was a tough day I guess to get those easy clean clearances um, but I thought at times yeah we just didn't use the ball well enough going in the forward half in you know, going forward and in the forward half to uh, you know get some extra shots on goal. Uh, well, everything changes. Um, you know, now we play against North Adelaide, um, but I think defensively we were really, really good. I oh, yeah, for probably on a hundred and ten minute game, ninety minutes we were really good. So that's a pleasing thing. It's something we'll keep working on as well. Um, and the offense is, you know, again, work in progress. We we just keep working in with that. Um, Anzac Lukowiak came in and, and gave a different, I guess, dynamic on the weekend, and um, probably should have kicked a goal late as well. So. Um, yeah, he, he, he had a, a good game um, and he'll be going to get better next week. And um, But yeah, it's just I think it's just the balance of the forward line. We've got a pretty good balanced forward line um, and we just need to keep working with the younger group and, and giving them games and, and putting them in the position to you know, get those opportunities to learn from learn and get experience. So um, yeah, it's, it is a work in progress, but the offence um, is starting to, um, I guess, get better. We just need to keep executing and, and we'll get our shots on goal. Yeah, so we're just waiting to hear back on a couple guys. Um, Jake Sutcliffe um, pulled up sore calf Achilles from the reserves on the weekend um, in his second game back from his um, knee. So we'll just wait to, I guess, see what the doctors say there. Hopefully it is just something minor and maybe just a, well, maybe might not even be a week, but we don't really know yet, so we'll wait and see. And Charlie Parker... Um, Hurt his collarbone on the weekend, so again we'll just wait and see. We haven't, you know, um, seen scans and stuff and X-rays, but we're just waiting to see what the actual confirmation of exactly what that'll look like. How long? So um, yeah, disappointing for Charlie because he's had a really good, um, you know, I think he's played about eight eight games now, nine games now. So he's been really good and really important on the wing. So, um, but what though? I guess what that does do is give opportunities um, to some players who've been playing in the reserves. Um, so. But again, um, we had a few players of our um, of the club out with the under under nineteens, and they played a trial on Friday night. So um, looks like we'll get a couple of those back. So um, Spain, Becker, Liddy, Fryer, and uh, Kittle all played in that game. So hopefully we'll get a few of them back as well to help out with a couple of guys that are coming back. And also too, Malachi Lyons is you know putting his name up for selection as well. So he. 
might play this week, if not the following week. But um, he and Ollie Grivel got through as well. So that's pleasing. The guys, um, Ollie played really well in the twos. And, um, you know, he, again, he'll manage his time for the next couple of weeks and hopefully he'll put his hand up in a couple of weeks' time for selection. Yeah, we got four games left. So it's a, I guess we got two games, a bye, and then two games. So um, we're just sort of just looking forward to this next two-week block. Um, we play North and Westies. So... Again, if we can, um, you know, play like we have the last few weeks um, and, you know, we played really well against North last time, um, couldn't quite get the win. But, yeah, again, it's just a little challenge for our group to um, keep backing up week after week and, and putting in the performances. And, you know, if we win this week and then, you know, see what happens the week after, then those last two games might become really important about, you know, chasing that last spot in the finals or a, or a final spot, sorry, so... Um, yeah, but we just, I guess, trying to play the brand of footy that we want to play and, um, you yeah, know, get that consistency within the playing group.